I'm Ross Goldsmith, and this is your Franklin Five. On Tuesday, the Franklin County Board of Commissioners approved the nearly $2 billion all funds county budget for 2022. The commissioners applauded County Administrator Kenneth Wilson for putting forward a prudent progressive vision that serves the needs of every resident every day. It's a long process. Please appreciate it. It's a long process uh, every year to bring a, a fiscally responsible and forward leaning budget uh, to the Board of Commissioners. And I enjoy this work every single day. Some days more than others, but I enjoy this work very much. You know, um, especially when it comes to budgets, we say, you know, show me your budget, I'll tell you your priorities. And so, you know, a budget really is, you know, a value set and, and, it, and it says like what, um, what you care about and what we care about um, based on how we prioritize. We're always budget. looking to improve. We're always looking to get better. We're always looking to do more. Uh, the, the, the motto of every resident every day, I was sharing that with our friends at NACO, and they just love that. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, but you know, when you buy into that every resident every day, then all, you know, when, when I bought into that, all I could think about was, okay, so what are we doing for them now? What are we doing for them well, next? I'll just uh, uh, close this out by beginning by saying just thanks to all the folks who work hard every day to be a part of this institution that we call Franklin County. Um, so much goes into it um, that people don't see and will never um, get to see, quite frankly. Uh, nonetheless, talk to any of those families that we impact each day. Talk to, you know, a single mom on the east side who's trying to make it <coughs> and turns to Franklin County to get her through the holiday. Or, you know, the family that's been stricken by some tragedy and needs resources for this one moment of time, but can turn to Franklin County to get those resources. Or somebody that comes through, unfortunately, in a crisis situation, our correctional facilities, and we're able to put them in a position to access other resources to support whatever their critical need is. The 2022 budget includes historic investments in small business assistance, public health preparedness, and affordable housing, with nearly 60% of the general fund going towards community-focused safety and justice initiatives. Commissioners also approved a resolution that will pilot an innovative model delivering a living wage and valuable experience to food service workers here in the courthouse. Uh, for us, this is not just about, you know, starting at the bottom and showing uh, the public how we can build a sustainable business. But this is also about spreading it forward in our industry that has been highlighted so much through the pandemic. Um, and to show restaurateurs that there is a way to do this sustainably and we don't have to keep following these antiquated attitudes of what restaurant employment looks like. I really appreciate the thoughtfulness that went into this new model and structure. It's easy to just say, let's reopen and put some stuff in there. Um, but I really feel like, um, and that, that credit really goes to you and the, and the folks you're working on the team, just being thoughtful about something creative, something new, something that really brought, um, again, the value set of, of this BOC as even part of that. And, uh, and so I just want to commend you for um, this model that I think is, is different, new, and innovative. So congratulations and what job well done. As part of the final general session of the year, the Franklin County Commissioners recognized the Racial Equity Council and their efforts to bring forward recommendations to expand racial equity throughout all we do here in Franklin County. Through cross-agency engagement, systematic integration, and ongoing assessment, the evalu and evaluation, the Franklin County Racial Equity Council developed a sustainable equity framework for Franklin County employees and communities by establishing 11 recommendations that will embed diversity, equity, and inclusion into the structure of Board of Commissioner agencies. Because, you know, this, is, this has become a huge part of who we are and what we do, not only here, but it's what we do uh, with our colleagues across the state of Ohio. And, and what we preach to them and it's what we do and who we are and what we preach to our colleagues across the country. While we're at the very beginning of this conversation and I think we're going to have to really um, dig in and make that commitment even further than we have, um, I'm really confident that we are on the right track and I think uh, Administrator Wilson said it best earlier, you know, once you have it in your DNA, it, it, it just carries on. Over the last two weeks, the commissioners have expanded a partnership with the Central Ohio Community Land Trust, investing more than $7 million in the building of more affordable housing. 
Residents interested in buying a land bank property should call 614-724-5263. That's 614-724-5263 for more information. Finally, as we gather this holiday season, please stay safe, get vaccinated, or get your booster shot. The only way we're going to get through this pandemic is by getting vaccinated. We'll be back with new episodes of the Franklin Five in the new year. So on behalf of the Franklin County Board of Commissioners, we wish you and your family a happy holiday season.